We need to talk about the word safe when it comes to exercise for osteoporosis. Because what if the safe exercises that you've been carefully doing are actually the biggest risk to your bone health in the long run? Stick with us, because this is one of the most important concepts when it comes to bone safe exercise. Hey, I'm Ollie. And I'm Gaz, and we're from B Mobile Physiotherapy. After a diagnosis of osteoporosis or osteopenia, finding safe exercises becomes the number one priority. And Gaz, that makes perfect sense. But a huge misunderstanding of what the word safe actually means in this context is leading lots and lots of people into a dangerous trap. So in this video, we're issuing a friendly evidence-based warning. We're going to expose what we call the safe exercise trap redefine what real safety actually looks like and give you one tool that you need to do to make sure that your exercises are actually making your bones stronger. The safe exercise trap is this. You find a handful of gentle, easy exercises and you stick with them for years. You do the same sit to stands, the same light resistance band exercises and the same walk around the block day in, day out. It feels productive and it feels safe, but here's the warning. A body that is never challenged is a body that never adapts. Remember, your bones only get stronger when they're given a reason to. They need a stimulus, a load, something that's a little bit more than what they're used to. Because if your workouts are no longer challenging you, you're not giving your bones that bone building signal that they need. So whilst you feel safe in the moment, you're actually being lulled into a false sense of security. The trap is that whilst your bones and your body might feel good now, your bone density is silently declining in the background because you've stopped giving your body and your bones the signals to improve. This leads us to a crucial point. We need to completely redefine what safety actually means for our long-term health. Safety is not the absence of challenge. Real safety is about having a body that's capable enough to handle all of life's everyday challenges. Real safety isn't about avoiding lifting your grandchildren, it's about having the back and leg strength to lift them confidently. Real safety isn't about avoiding the stairs, it's about having the leg power and balance to go up them without a second thought. True safety is resilience, and resilience isn't built in the comfort zone. It's built by stepping just outside it consistently and intelligently. The only way to get a stronger, safer body is by challenging it. So how do you challenge your body safely, and how do you know that challenging exercise is the key? Well, there's been a lot of research. Take a look at this. These are the official clinical guidelines from the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners in exercise for those with osteoporosis. They explicitly recommend that resistance training is moderate to vigorous and progressive. This is the evidence-based way to make your body stronger and safer. And the principle behind it is the cornerstone of all effective strength training. It's called progressive loading. That might sound a little technical, but it's actually really simple. All you've got to do is make your exercises a little bit harder over time. It's about increasing the demand so we can keep giving your bones a signal to get stronger. Let's use the push-up as a perfect example. Many people start here with a wall push-up. This is a fantastic, safe starting point. The trap is staying here forever. Once 15 wall push-ups feels easy, you progress. You make it harder by moving to a kitchen counter. The angle is lower, so the load is greater. After a few months, the counter might feel easy, so you progress again. Perhaps you could do them on your knees on the floor. Do you see, the movement is the same, but the challenge is always increasing. You're not making big, dangerous leaps. You're making small, manageable steps forwards. This is how you build real, lasting strength and bone density. So here's our final warning. Be wary of any routine that never changes. A routine that's always comfortable is a routine that is no longer helping to improve your bone density. Don't fall into the safe exercise trap. Embrace the idea that real safety comes from building a strong, capable, and resilient body. And the best way to do that is with a structured exercise program built on the principle of progressive loading. If you're ready to start a routine that will safely challenge you and get you real results, we have a completely free full body strength workout designed to do exactly that. And to get started today, just click the link on your screen. Thank you for watching. And remember, to be safe, be strong.